Hey guys, welcome back to Donny Boy 73, the small engine doctor. Today I have an FS55R steel grass trimmer with some problems. I'm going to start it up, show you what it's doing, and then give you a possible diagnosis and fix it. So I'll get it started up. Notice when I go to accelerate, it just bogs down. It'll start good, but just bogs down. Now with this trimmer, I suspect it's a clogged spark arrestor screen. It's probably all clogged up with carbon and preventing the machine from running properly. So I'm going to take it off, clean it up, and hopefully that was just the problem. Now the spark arrestor screen is on the muffler over here. You have to take off this bolt or nut. Usually I check this first because it's cheap. It's less expensive for the customer if that's the problem. And after that I would check the carburetor and other issues if it continues to have the same problem. Now to get started what you need is a 15 millimeter socket. So I'm going to reach down inside and unscrew it. Now I do recommend that you let the engine cool down before you do this. It's a bit easier taking the parts when they're cold. And this is what I'm curious to see here. And it looks pretty clogged up. And just look at that. So what I usually do in this case is I start the machine up without this in the muffler. Then I know for sure that this is the problem. I'm still going to clean it though, but first I'm going to start up the machine. It's going to be a bit louder. But if it runs really good and has good acceleration, then I know that this definitely was the problem. So I'm just going to start it up in my shop because I've got it aired out pretty good in here. So you can definitely see that there's a huge improvement. I actually like the sound of the trimmer without the spark arrestor. It does sound a little meaner and it seems to have a lot of power. So now I'm going to show you how to clean that screen and put it back in. Now I had made a video in the past about the same procedure but it wasn't in HD like today. So that's why I'm redoing the video again so you can get a clearer picture for doing this procedure. So what I do is I just put it in my vise in this position with the screen up. And today I'll be using my propane torch, make sure to have safety glasses, I'm just gonna light her up. I don't recommend using acetylene on that screen because you could end up melting it. Now I'm gonna heat it up until it gets red hot and all the carbon's gonna turn to dust. You can see that the carbon's burning actually, so that's okay. Just make sure you're working in a safe area. and you want to go all around. You can even heat up the nozzle at the bottom just to burn up the carbon that's in there. Now I'm going to let it cool off for a while, come back and shake off the dust and the hole should be all cleared up. Okay, now that it's cooled down, I'm going to use a small wire brush just to wire the dust out. And I'm just going to go like this. You can see all the dust is coming off. That's actually all the carbon that's been burnt up. And you want to do this all the way around it. Now 
Now there's a bit of carbon left at the tip of the nozzle, so I'm going to use my wired brush on my bench grinder to clean that off. And now you can see that the nozzle and the screen are very clean because you can actually see right through it. The last thing I'm going to do is just blow my air compressor through the screen so it goes out this way and vice versa. And always make sure to wear safety glasses when you do this. Once you've got it clean like this, it's time to put it back into the muffler. So here's the hole over here on the muffler where this will screw in. So I'm just going to reach in and start it in there. And now with my 15 millimeter socket and ratchet, I'm just going to tighten it up. You don't need to tighten it up too much. And now I'm going to start it up and hopefully she runs good. As you can see that's the only thing that was wrong with it. I just slightly adjusted the idle on the carburetor and besides that it runs as good as new. So it just goes to show guys that sometimes it's as easy as cleaning the spark rester screen in your power equipment to get it to run better. What may have caused the screen to plug up like that is just from normal use and it could also be because there could have been just slightly too much oil in this guy's fuel. So thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.